Today, we're gonna see how to connect the power of Pinterest with the power of affiliate marketing. And of course, no, it doesn't require any sort of social media following. You don't have to show your face at all. And it is extremely low cost to get started. Today, I'm gonna walk you step by step through this process. Now, you probably know what affiliate marketing is about. You will essentially just drive the traffic to certain products and when they get sold, you get the commission for it, right? But the question that I get a lot these days is that why do I use Pinterest? So to answer some of you in those comments, the first reason is that it is a search engine. All right, search engine just like Google. Let me explain. Very often when affiliate marketers try and use like Facebook or Instagram, they end up having to use ads. They have to spend money on ads and they just have to like cast a wide net in order to coincidentally just find someone who was interested in their products, right? But Pinterest is similar to Google because you can just go and you can just type something in. The reason is simple, you know, people are using this platform in order to search for something specific, okay? And you already have something that people are already searching for. So all you have to do is to find the results. And they do this usually with the intent to buy. Now, this bit is very important. People are going to Pinterest as they go on Google in order to buy something. They have this so-called buyer intent. And when they just fix their minds on something, then they're just asking for opinions, all right? They're just asking for some pictures on Pinterest. And if they find something, for example, they need some home office decor in their office, right? If they need something and they see something on Pinterest because they're just looking for ideas, if you place that button there, if you wanna sell the physical product, they will click on it, all right? If they like your item, they will click on it. So that is why I use Pinterest, all right? People are using Pinterest in order to search for something. And if they see something that they think they're looking for, they will click on that button that you place there. All right. No ads, nothing. Pinterest already has a lot of traffic. Actually, Pinterest has 1.1 billion total visits in a month. So that's pretty good. So today I'm going to show you which kind of products you can sell on Pinterest and how to create these scroll stopping pins that everyone will like. So let's get started. First of all, choose a niche for yourself, all right? Pinterest demographics is really important. And as you can see here, 76.2% of Pinterest audiences are female and only 17% are male. That is really, really good to know for us because you already have something in mind. You know, you won't go over to Pinterest to sell cars, to sell men watches, even though people are doing that. But you have much more audience if you sell some women products. All right. Have that in mind. When you do choose the niche for yourself, open yourself an account, right? And you have to switch it over to business account. You see, this is my business account. You can do that easily by clicking here just clicking on the settings here and then just going over to account management and changing this. Okay. For me, it says convert to personal account, but of course yours is going to be converted to a business account. Click on this button and you're done. The next thing of course is just optimize it a bit, head over to your profile here and then just change this like picture in relation to your niche. So if you choose like home office ideas, choose something like this. But if you are into a, let's say fitness niche, which is good for women on Pinterest, just find something that is relevant, right? I often use Pixabay to get my pictures or you can use canva.com. I'm gonna go with keto diet and then just change this cover by clicking here. Then just play with this a bit. How do you want it to scale it? Click on the done button and it's done. Now you just have to have like profile picture, but let's not waste time with it. Now what is important is to find the products. All right. We already have a niche for this video. Let us be in the keto niche, for example. But now you have a choice. Okay. You have the choice of going with physical products or you can just go with digital products. All right. This is totally going to depend on the niche. If you want to go with physical products. I will always highly recommend amazon.com because they have such a good affiliate marketing. All right. All you got to do is to apply for the affiliate marketing program on Amazon associates, and then you can just start recommending products and of course, get in those commissions. You can do both. 
all right you can make two pinterest accounts one for digital products one for physical products whatever you want but if, if i'm gonna stick to keto in this video i'm gonna go with some digital products and those are gonna be keto recipes and keto ebooks which i don't have to write myself so let's just go into it for these i always use digistore 24 or sometimes i just use clickbank.com whichever one of these you want just make yourself an account real quick and then of course just search through these offers these categories you can see that you can just put yourself into a lot of categories but keto and fitness seems good for us i mean it's such a popular thing especially with women you know they all want to just lose weight whatever if you are going with men you were to go with some muscle building things you know but let's just take this like ultimate keto meal plan and let's just click on this thing here this is our affiliate link which is now copied and you can see that if i sell one of these keto meal plans i will get around 15 dollars for each one of those sales now that is a pretty pretty good number all we have to do now is to get that exposure all right because whenever someone is going to pinterest and they ask for i don't know maybe they just switch over to keto that's a lot of people trust me and they will just type in pinterest keto diet plan or meal plan you know because usually you know it by myself or yourself and i know it by myself that it's hard to get an idea what am i gonna cook today all right and especially if you are on the keto diet where you just have like such a limited source of ingredients that you can use in your meals you know so that's why people will go over to pinterest to search for ideas you know and there's you with this ultimate keto meal plan and it's a good thing you know so what do you want to do now create pins but create pins every day all right just create at least one pin every day for yourself and you're gonna see so much conversion all right don't be lazy with this it's all gonna depend on you you can't just go and make one pin and then just expect miracles to happen no firstly what i like to do i like to go over and see what other people are doing all right i like to see how their pins are and of course i like to see what people are searching for so if i just type in keto i'm gonna get a lot of these search results all right so people are searching for keto snacks keto desserts keto breakfast keto meals keto diet for beginners keto recipes keto dinner recipes and know why this is important now you know how to make the title for your pins all right this is really important you have the information of what people are searching for right so now all that you have to do is to make an answer all right so make that answer to all these search results you're going to do that with the title and you are going to do that with the pictures and this text inside of those pins pictures so let's see how it actually looks like so for example as you can see people are just making the title 11 keto breakfasts for continued weight loss and then in the picture as you can see it's 11 keto breakfasts that will destroy weight all right so all that you have to do now is to create something similar don't copy the exact same thing but just similar watch the patterns all right so there's picture there's text over it and there's usually a number because as you can see five worst keto mistakes five keto alcohols 10 keto cocktails 20 keto dinners so you see the pattern that is repeating and if all these pins are such high up they work all right so that's a cheat so all you have to do now is to find simple pictures like these and of course i always use canva.com first of all it's free and then they've got a lot of pictures and templates to use so i just head over here pinterest pin and then sometimes i use these already made templates because i have to now type in keto and then of course you've got a lot of these but usually what is the better way is if i just go to pinterest pin and click here on create a blank pinterest pin and then when i'm inside of this i'm just gonna go and i'm just gonna type in keto and then i'm gonna get all of these templates which are related to keto but of course you can just go with for example as you can see here healthy diet templates it's all in there or just head over to elements type and i don't know healthy diet or food or whatever or keto and then just switch over to the photos here and you've got a lot of these all right so 
it's a really, really easy thing to do for yourself. Move this picture here, just make it fill this space, now just make it whatever, and then just place some text on it. Okay, click on the text button here, add a heading, and start typing that out. You will need the information from the product that you are affiliating for, of course. So go and see what this is about. Go and see and read all of this. So try to find certain keywords that can be placed in that pin. You have affiliate support page on all of these. So when you click on that, you will get some more info on what you can use. And of course, you can just go when you just make yourself a pin. When you, for example, go over to your profile, go to the plus icon where you add new pins, click on the pin. Here is going to go the design of the pin. The title is going to be something that we talked about. So just see what people are searching for and what other people are doing. And then the most important part is that you add a destination link. All right. This is where your affiliate link is going to go. You can just shorten the link using bit.ly tiny URL so it looks more beautiful, right? But one more thing that you can use is Linktree, all right? So you can just place a lot of those links on your Linktree. Now, this will come useful when you just go and affiliate for more products, all right? And if you are into like fitness niche, you can just place a lot of products on your Linktree so people can just click on the link in your bio or in that destination link and they will just choose whichever one of these products they are interested in. So that's the whole thing. All right. It requires a lot of work. It requires research, what kind of products you can take. And of course, it requires creating the pins. Now, it is true you can hire someone else to do these pins for you, but you have to pay for it. So either it's going to be your time or it's going to be your money. But the work is needed, all right? But it's not hard. Everyone else is doing it. A lot of people are making huge deals of money this way. So I think you can do that as well. So I wish you good luck and I'll catch you.